Hello world, welcome back. Today it is my birthday and we are going to pick up where we left off. Last week we talked about my adolescent years, growing up in the industry and navigating my own identity. This week we are doing our first giveaway, so stay tuned to the end of this episode or the middle to learn more on how you can get some free BDP merch. Starting this episode off with a favorite, Heart on Fire by Little Sims is an amazing track and I definitely recommend giving it a listen. All right, let's get into our second episode. My name is Time Journey and this is the House of Legacy. I want to start with saying my experience growing up was different from normal kids and even other celebrity kids. Not to say it was worse or even better, but it was just different. So I don't compare and I expect you not to either. My childhood really inspired me to create this podcast to learn more about those who are born into greatness but often trapped in the shadows or maybe overlooked because who cares? So I care. This platform is for us and you are welcomed. Let's start with my name. The story is told as such. In 1998 sometime, Simone was pregnant with a girl, sitting in the living room listening to albums by a man named Gary Taylor. As she's listening to each song, one record stuck with Simone the whole night, time after time. That was when she realized her daughter's name, Time, spelled T-Y-M-E. After my mom established the first name, my dad came up with the middle, Journey, spelled J-O-U-R-N-E-Y, named after civil rights and women's rights activist Sojourner True. Growing up with a unique name has its perks and compliments, but younger time experienced slight teasing and corny jokes like, hey time, what time is it? Or when I would ask what time it was, they would say, Oh, well, shouldn't you know your name is Time? And then walk off. All the way to mispronouncing my name on purpose. And as a little girl, with little feelings, it stung. But I always had a slick mouth, so it didn't sting for that long. I had a lot of different nicknames growing up. Joy was my number one. My first artist's name when I was recording was Diva Dynamite. And then a lot of other variations of Joy this and Joy that. My dad used to say, Whatever you call yourself, you bring to yourself. So I was very picky on who I wanted to be and what I wanted to be. Music. Do I rap or do I sing? And I did. My greatest outlet when I felt down or alone was music. Even to this day, I find it easy to write songs about anything. I was really good with coming up with catchy choruses and melodies. But when I got to about like 18, 19, I found myself writing and putting out a lot of deep R&B tracks. Songs that spoke about my emotional struggles. And fans loved it. But surprisingly, the closest people around were also fanning over my harmonies and, in my opinion, not listening to the lyrics. Here are some old titles from my previous music. Drunk Broken which was about being heartbroken and using alcohol to try and remedy the situation, but it doesn't work, so you keep drinking. I Lonely, which was a really good song with a dope feature, but still the title. And Company, which was about not wanting, but desperately needing somebody around, which sounds kind of toxic, but I mean, I wasn't in love, so I wasn't writing much love songs, and I wasn't inspired, so I wasn't writing positive songs. At that time, I was only writing and putting out this kind of music. I kept asking myself, is this worth it? Why does it feel like this is my only career option in life? This is also where other people's expectations came in. Because you come from a famous musical family, you must be a musician. And at that time, I was. But again, I was still finding myself in general and trying a lot of things to see what stuck to the wall. This is to the next generation of celebrity kids. Depending on your legend, people are going to expect you to follow the bloodline, be a spinning image of your legacy and continue it that way. But F that. There are so many other ways to continue a legacy without jeopardizing your own identity. Today, I can say at 25, here are three things you need before you hit your 20s. Tough skin, real talent, 
and a good work ethic. Of course, things like that don't happen instantly, but give it time and be patient. You're on your own way to greatness. Music started to slip for me when I began to think, what do I want to be known for in this world? What work do I want to contribute to the future? And was it worth giving up my then form of therapy for more status or more money? The answer was no for then, and that was one of the best decisions I ever made. I always knew I was a writer, but I didn't think big enough. I was only writing songs, but later began to write short stories and finish creative writing prompts online to strengthen my creative muscle that then turned into a promising film career. Quick break. I want to use this opportunity to let you guys in on how you can join our first BDP giveaway. If you follow us on Instagram at officialbdp1, we have posted the instructions for the giveaway there. Step one, make sure you follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel at BDP TV. Step two, create a 10 to 60 second freestyle video wrapping over one of our BDP cypher beats that will be available on our website, incorporating the words hip hop, legacy, and boogie down. Step three, and this is the final one, submit it to us on Instagram at official BDP one. You can DM us or post it on your page and tag us using hashtag BDP one giveaway. The two best MCs will be featured on our Instagram page and will win our BDP.1 goodie bags. Also, right now, if you use code BDP25, you will get 25% off your entire order at BDP.1. This code will expire January 9th, 2024, so make sure to use it by then. All right, let's get back into the second half of this episode. When I started to get into film, I was only filming and editing two things, music videos and makeup videos. I knew the music industry, I grew up in it, but the beauty industry was like my America, and I discovered something that was going to change my entire view on the world. Few may understand, but growing up around a lot of male influence, even in my own personal life, I have three brothers, no sisters, and back then, It was way easier for me to be cool with the guys than it was the girls. So my everyday was surrounded by masculine energy and I was influenced. No matter how many times society wanted me to act like or look like a little girl, I just wanted to wear my baggy clothes, my sneakers, and fit in with the boys. Other than hip hop concerts, that's truly where my love for streetwear developed. As I got older, my body developed pretty quickly. Most people would assume I was like 21 when I was really like 15, or maybe that's what they wanted to think. Anyways, one year during the end of a bad friendship, this person became really judgmental about my style, my weight, and with social pressures and my own body image issues, this only encouraged me to hide out in men's clothing even more. Then one day I stumbled upon the world of YouTube beauty influencers. And I was completely enamored by the amount of confidence that oozed out of the screen. Outsiders would tell me, the beauty industry is toxic and terrible for little girl self-image. But such is life. I remember wanting to make beauty and health part of my everyday lifestyle in a positive way. So I started to create very sped up makeup videos with music playing in the background. Beauty inspired me to explore my feminine side showed me how to channel my inner beauty and embrace my natural one. Back then, even trying to be a beauty influencer taught me about self-love and self-care. All right, let's talk about this giveaway one more time. We have two BDP.1 goodie bags for the winners of our first giveaway. It's simple. Step one, make sure you follow us on Instagram at officialbdp1 and subscribe to our YouTube channel at BDP TV. Step two, create a 10 to 60 second freestyle video wrapping over one of our BDP cypher beats, incorporating the words hip hop, legacy, and boogie down. The beat will be available on our website at BDP.1. Step three, and this is the final one, submit it to us on Instagram at official BDP1. You can DM us or post it on your page and tag us using hashtag 
EDP giveaway. The two best MCs will be featured on our Instagram page and win EDP.1 goodie bags. The winners will be picked on December 22nd. And I look forward to sharing some new products with you all. Let's end this episode with some words of wisdom. Like a video game, win or lose, you will always gain experience. In the game of life, you win some and you lose some, but you'll always gain enough experience to get to the next level. Thank you guys so much for listening. Make sure to like, subscribe, and support your local small-owned business. Bye.